Hello everyone, such a joy to meditate in God's word and we are on the theme of healing. Uh, we talked about the fact that because of the great exchange that Jesus has accomplished, you and I can walk uh, in divine health. Uh, we also saw that you know, Jesus has conquered on the cross of Calvary and Satan is defeated and thereby you and I can receive our healing, we can walk in our healing. And today I want to remind us that we are redeemed. When we study uh, about this word redeemed, we understand that uh, redeemed was used in, in uh, circumstances when a slave was set free by the payment of a price known as a ransom. Now, when we consider the work of Jesus, we know that he became our redemp redemption lamb. He became that atonement lamb for us. We were the ones who needed to be punished. We were the ones who needed to be afflicted in every uh, sense because of sin here in the world. But God sent his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus. And in our place, you know, he took our punishment. He took um, uh, every affliction that was due to us so that we could be set free. And so in this manner, God has accomplished a redemption for us. You and I who believe in the Lord Jesus, you know, scriptures tell us that now we are redeemed. And once uh, someone was redeemed, or a slave was redeemed, the slave would now belong to uh, another master and everything that the slave had would belong to that other master. And so similarly, we as believers now belong to the kingdom of light. We belong to the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that we belong to the Lord Jesus, you know, everything uh, uh, that we have, everything that we are belongs to Jesus. Uh, in 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 and 20, Paul uh, wrote these um, uh, lines. He said, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? whom you have from God and you are not your own for you were bought at a price therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's so he was reminding God's people that they were purchased and now they belonged to a different master who is the Lord Jesus and he was also reminding the believers that they now are the host or their bodies are the host to the presence of the Holy Spirit and that's the privilege you and I have as children of God we are now part of God's kingdom now we belong to God and everything that we have belongs to God and our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit now having said these things uh, you know it, it's very clear that Satan has no legal right over a believer over uh, you know uh, the, the believers body or the believers soul or the possessions of a believer everything is redeemed uh, through the work of the cross and so I just want to encourage us that we must stand against every demonic assignment every demonic work refuse what the enemy wants to put on us and we can make this declaration that we now belong to the Lord Jesus. We are redeemed uh, and part of the kingdom of our Lord Jesus and thereby sickness has no place in our body. And even as we uh, stand firm, believing the Lord, making this declaration, surely I, I believe that you know healing will begin to manifest. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have purchased us, O God, and Lord, you have delivered us from the clutches of Satan. We are redeemed. Uh, and Father, we pray that, uh, Lord, uh, it is your victory which will be seen in us, O God, and seen in our health. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.